Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would show you a little bit of how I store some of my scraps and bits and pieces. This is a Ziploc bag that's full of scraps of fabric. Some of them are from my projects, some of them are from people that have given them to me. And I like this one with the cherries, so I'm going to pull that aside. And then I have a little basket that I keep on my desk and then I put scraps in there and I have some leftover calico collage images from when I did a mixed media postcards. And then this is some heavy watercolor paper that when you took the sticker off of it, it left a residue. So I thought I'm gonna try something with those. And then this is a scrap from when I trimmed a piece of paper to be a page in a junk journal. So I've got those elements, I'm gonna set those aside. What I'm trying to do for the month of July, you know, the year is more than half over and I know many of us probably made a resolution at the beginning of the year that they were going to use up their stash. So I'm gonna challenge you for the month of July to use it up July. So basically, I'm going to try to do projects every day. I may not have a tutorial, but I'll have a project that I'll post on social media on Linda Israel Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and maybe you'll be inspired by some of the things that I'm going to do. So today I thought what I would do is create a bookmark out of these pieces. I'm doing a craft bazaar in July, and it's going to be the theme of Pinup Girls. So I thought, well, might as well use this up and get it out of the way. So these will be a few things that'll be gone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got this large piece of paper here and I need to cut it so that I can use it as a mat for these images. So I'm gonna get my paper cutter out and I'm just gonna trim some squares out or rectangles in this case. I don't precisely measure stuff. I kind of eyeball it. So I'm basically lining up that image and leaving a little bit of a border around it. And the reason being is my paper may not be the same size as the paper that you're using. And this way it doesn't have to be precise. Just cut it any old way that you can. Sometimes what I'll do is after I cut one, if I'm doing multiples, I'll use that as a guide and cut more pieces of paper the same size. And the leftover bits I will put back in the basket because there may be another project where I can use that coming up. Well, I've got those trimmed and I've got the pieces of paper here. What I think I want to do now is I'm going to use some distressed ink. I'm going to go around these images but before before I get started, I'm going to use my crocodile, and there was one sharp corner on this piece of paper, so I thought it would just be clever, it would be quirky to just trim that off, and then I'm going to use the black soot and go all the way around and add a little distressing. And I'm going to do the same with the images and the blue pieces of paper. I've got my spray box and a stencil that I made and I have available in my shop. And I'm just going to lay those two bookmark pieces, the base inside with the stencil on top. And then I have a couple of colors of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. One is Icicle Blue and the other is Turquoise Blue. I just love these colors. So I'm going to spray this. I'm going to spray this one. So it'll give it a nice dark hue. And then what I like to do is get a scrap of paper and mop up the excess spray. And I can use this piece of paper as a junk journal page or an element. And it doesn't waste the sprays. So there are my two bases. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to layer these on top. So I'm going to position these and I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue I'm using the No Clog Writing Cap from Scrap Perfect. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this. I plan to sew this together 
and I don't need a whole lot of glue on here so I'm just putting a little bit to keep the pieces together so they don't shift on me and I'm going to do that to all of these pieces just adding a very very small amount of glue and I'm going to position it at the bottom where that rough patch is on this watercolor paper and that'll cover that up. So I'm going to do it again over here if you're not going to sew, then you'll want to make sure you adhere it down really well so that it doesn't come apart on you. I have some tulip glitter paint here, and I'm going to put a little bit on these ladies, and I'm going to use a paintbrush to spread it out and kind of give them a nice shimmery effect. And I'll even go up her body and in her hair. Then I'll make sure to clean my paintbrush. I'm just going to use the cleaner here by Scrap Perfect and just put a little bit on there because that paint can make this paintbrush stiff and you won't want to use it on your next project. So I find that if I coat it with a little bit of that cleaner and then just stick it in my water and then I'll use the rest of the cleaner to help wipe up any of the excess paint that I got on my hands. I'll set that aside to dry. It won't take very long because it's such a thin coat. I have a piece of this fabric here and I think what I want to do that's about the right length. So I'm just eyeballing it again. I'm just going to fold up a little piece. It depends on the size of tag you're working on. Mine isn't very big. It's about six inches tall and I want to have this as a ribbon at the top to make it a tag. So I'm just snipping this just a little bit and then I'm going to tear this. Well, if I get it snipped far enough, it was in the salvage. I'm going to tear it again to give another. Sometimes if it's not on the grain, you'll get weird tears. That's kind of what's happening to me. Sometimes that's what happens with cheap fabric. So since I've got two little pieces here, we'll add those together. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach this piece of fabric or pieces of fabric to the top by zigzag stitching. And then I'm going to zigzag stitch around these images and I'll be right back. As you can see, I've gone around these images with a zigzag stitch on my little brother sewing machine and I zigzag stitched up there. The last thing that I think I want to do is I've got these words. They were old words. Again, I'm trying to use up what I have in my stash. So these are old words from Seven Gypsies that I picked up years and years ago that I thought were super cute. They are just a whole roll of a sticky fabric with words on it. Now, to duplicate this, what you could do is go on to your computer and create a box in black and do white text on top and then tell your printer to print. So there's a tip for you to create this sort of look. Or there are other vendors out there that have a few of these words available. So I think what I'll do is I'll just stick one here and we'll stick another one down there. So there's the two that I made with you guys and gals watching. Let me show you a couple others that I made. Again, just using scraps out of my little stash and I even have another green one as here as well. If you like this idea of using up your stash, please definitely give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that hopefully others get the same concept of let's use what we have, let's get rid of what we have before we go and buy a whole bunch more. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, share it with your friends. Comment below, what do you have in your stash that you need to use up? Maybe that is something that I also have and maybe I can do a tutorial. And again, for July, try to use your stash and share with me on social media. Tag me with Linda Israel, hashtag Linda Israel, and I will filter through those searches and respond to you.
Make sure you check the description box to links to my social media as well as my Facebook groups and of course the blog post that shows a little bit more information about what I did today. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell at the top so that you can keep abreast of the next one that I do. Well, see you next time here on YouTube or other social media. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.